Welcome back to the show. I'm the Beard Venture. And I'm Lunchbox. And I've got one from Crosstown. Crosstown. Okay, these are buddies of mine in Memphis, Tennessee. This is, is like Siren. Right down the road. Right. Now, this is their blonde ale. And Steve has to do this one with me because... It's got UFOs on it, man. It's got UFOs. Space, UFOs, cars. cars. Yeah. I'm probably going to drink your beer. Yeah. Now... Big fan of Crosstown. I know Can't most wait. of those guys over there. Mm, this is a good beer. Uh, this isn't my first time having this beer. This is my first time reviewing this beer. Um, hey, their anniversary's coming up. I may do a Crosstown takeover and do, yeah, you can pour a monster head with this, which I like because beer through the head literally tastes better. Um, now, again, it's kind of hazy. Mm -hmm. Just a smidge. Not too cloudy. Mm. It's 5.2% alcohol. So it's like, you know, that average, you know. Fairly thick head, too. Mellow beer. Yes, it pours a super head. I really like the smell of this beer. Um, it almost smells like, um, I'll say something. Like there's a little bit of yeast in it. I could say that. Now, this uh, is one of the ones that taste good. Yeah, a okay. little bit. Um, the My French farmhouse beers I have a lot of yeasty mm. smell. Um, that's, that's what I'm getting. It's just a touch of yeast. Now, this one, uh, this is one of what they call their core beers. This is the beers that anytime they're going to be available for sale, they're going to be at the tap house. They make this stuff year round. Okay. That's really bright. Mm -hmm. Wow. Crisp. It goes away quick. You know but what? it's not dry, though. It doesn't. You know what I call these? What's that? This is fridge beer. Fridge beer? Keep those in your fridge? Yeah. I mean, this is that kind of beer that you just have on hand all the time because it works well. I mean, I mowed the yard. Have one of these. I don't yeah. want to do anything today. Have one of these on the back porch. This uh, one is actually refreshing. Right. By the way, like I know for a fact, great with food. Like, it would actually quench your thirst. Yes. This is an everyday beer. This is a... Yeah. It's even a day drinking beer because it's 5.2. So, it's not going to whoop you. Good job, Crosstown. Yeah. Those guys make great beers. There's a bunch of homebrewers got together, opened a brewery, <laughs> and they're kicking ass. Wow. It's really exciting. But it's not overpowering. Yeah. That's really cool. It's... I like it. It's like you took... You said it's paleo? Blonde, no, they're blonde. blonde. It, it, it's like you got something that's chilling, but you made it like to the best of the uh, best that you could. I don't, I don't know if that made sense to you, but it's, it's super simple, but they did it just it's, right. Yeah. Like there's not a bunch of like fruits and vegetables and... Extra no. hops and no, but colorings. It, and it's still bright and oh gosh, yes. and like dances on your tongue. It's decent in a can, and you guys got to go to the brewery and get this thing on draft. It's we'll do that mm -hmm. for you guys. Mm. Uh, the only problem I have with this is I kind of guzzle this one. Yeah, well, you should guzzle our videos. Yeah, that subscribe, binge button. watch them. Uh, if you're enjoying this, hit the like. Uh, we'd love to have you as a subscriber. I do this three times a week. So I force my friends to drink beer with me on a regular basis. Oh, darn. Every once in a while, it's a good one. Yeah. Um, I'll try to put some stuff in the description. Uh, also down there, you'll find my merch store and links to various other things that I do. We can talk about it down in there in the comments. In the comments, tell us what, if you've ever had Crosstown before. Yes. Have you? What was your favorite one? Yeah. Let us know. We'll go find it if we hadn't already done it. Actually, the Crosstown IPA is one of my uh, contributors' absolute favorite IPAs in the world, and she hates IPAs. So, here's the deal. Did you dig this one? I actually did. Yeah, I knew you would like this. Not just because it had spaceships on it. No, um, it, it was. It was bright. Um, it had. It was exciting, but it wasn't overpowering, and... Unmanageable. Uh, right. I, I really, I really dig it. it. It finishes smooth and clean, and like I said, it's actually refreshing. Like, 
I could so drink this after doing some kind of labor. Yeah. You could have more than one. Okay. Uh, would you have another? Absolutely. As well. I've had many of these. Um, if it has the, the whole seekability thing, if you haven't had it and you're worried about getting a 12 pack or six pack, go ahead and put in a pick six. It's definitely worth it. I'd put two or three in them. Yeah. Um, this is one, honestly, I say go ahead and just grab yourself an entire six pack because it's just a really it's good enjoyable. blonde. And your friends will like it too. I think so. Uh, most any beer drinker, like the most hardcore dark beer beer drinkers will enjoy this one even. Oh yeah. It's it has that full profile, but nothing is too unmanageable. Nothing's turned up enough to where you don't right. like it. Uh yeah. The best way I think that that everything's at the right volume. Exactly. Everything's at the right volume on this beer. Okay. So uh on a scale of one to ten. I'm 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 on the fence, man. I, you know what? Since we're in the new place and all that, we're gonna give it an eight. I was at a seven, but like it really is a little bit more than a seven. Just that the way it, it grabs your tongue right off the bat. Yeah. I okay. Eight. So as I've said, if you watch any of my videos, uh, a lot of times beer isn't just beer. It's how it makes you feel and the things you've done and the moments and everything and the fact that the head brewer is a friend of mine. Um, the brewery owners are friends. I've had this in their brew pub. Um, I've even tasted it from one of their big brewing vessels. Hey, we just made some. Would you like some that's like today old? Um, this this beer's an eight for me all day, every day. I just, I love it. Now, what would it take to be a nine or a ten? I have no clue. If they let him stir it. I don't know, maybe. <laughs> You're like, that batch I stirred. I don't, I don't. Myself. Yeah. Um, I don't, I have no idea what it'd take to be a nine or a ten, but I, I don't know. I just really like this beer. I do too, man. So there you have it, folks. Until your next beer adventure. Cheers. Cheers.